Greetings. My people, rejoice. Today, the greatest among us, the Ashwari, shall petition the gods to return to our fair land and once more grace us with their life-giving waters. My people, give thanks. Today we celebrate the union of the Ashlandi with the strongest warrior, securing the future of our people and our world. We do thanks. Malik, bring the betrothed couple before us. Yes, Your Excellency. Helek, Ashlandi, come forward. Get your hands off of me! I am here, my lord. Ashwari, come forward. I am ready, High Priest Gerant. Nico, no! Silence, girl! My people, offer your thanks to the Ashwari, greatest among us, who will lay down his life to bring the reins. We thank you, Ashwari. I do it gladly. Now, I fulfill my destiny. Approach the Sky Temple, Great One. Stop! You can't do this! He's only a child! Please, won't anyone stop this? You cannot stop this, Ashlandi. It has been this way for generations. The Ashwari will sacrifice himself for the people, and your union with Pelek will ensure that they will be Ashwari for generations to come. Union? Union? You mean rape? Your preferences and desires pale before the needs of my people, Ashlandi. As the years go by and the ranks of the Ashwari swell once again, you will come to understand and accept this to take pleasure in your role as the mother of our future. Pelek, approach your consort. Ashwari, your duty awaits. No! Likely, mate. Uh. Did anyone ever teach you uh, not to fight people bigger than yourself, little traitor? Must have <coughs> missed that lesson. Pity! Ah. Countess! Brought along some friends, Aerunt. Please, the pain. I can't. Have mercy. Finish me! Uh, if you insist, though it's more than you deserve, hold still. I don't think so. Uh. Idiot. Never walk up to an armed man with your sword down, even if he is lying on the ground. Keltis, why did you do it? Ciara, keep that idiot son of yours still and quiet while I check that guard. Mother, I'm sorry. I, I don't think I can... Uh... Oh, Keltis, no! Nothing to be done for the guard, unfortunately. Let me see Keltis. How... how bad? Bad enough. Come on, Ciara. Help me carry him into the ship. But it's too small. We won't fit. Remember Clark's law, Ciara. Any sufficiently advanced science and all that. Now hurry! Keldus doesn't have much time and neither do Robbie and the Ashwari. Yes, of course. On the count of three, lift him up. One, two, three. Oh, good, that's it. Now, bring him in. It's... it's... Yes, it is. That's just impossible. Obviously not. And right now I should think that would be the least of your concerns. This way, quickly. We must get Keltus to the medical bay without delay. Yes, of course. Stop! You can't do this! He's only a child! Please, won't anyone stop this? Guard, silence her. Yes, sir. No! I won't let this happen! Sir, she's got my sword! Geraint! Protect the high priest! Pelek, restrain her! <gasps> Too late! Nobody move or I'll cut his throat! Do you hear me? Everybody stay right where you are! <sighs> the 
That's better. Now, High Priest Gerant, stop the sacrifice this instant, or I swear on my grandmother's grave that I will decapitate you where you stand. Ciara, hand me that dermal regenerator. Uh, the, uh, the silver oval with the flashing red light on the end. This? What? Yes, yes, that's the one. Doctor, will he survive? Is my son going to be all right? <sighs> He's stable at least for now, Ciara. There's a good chance he'll live. I think we can safely leave him in the care of the medical computers. There's little more I can do for him at this point. These medical computers, they will watch over him, care for him? Yes, more magical technology, I'm afraid. Now, come with me. Will you not treat the wound to your arm first, using these machines? There's no time! We must get to Ransom, and we must do so quickly. Now, please, I'll need your help. We mustn't delay. Yes, yes, of course. Pelek, control and disarm your consort before she hurts someone. I... Shut up, both of you! Don't you come any closer or I'll kill the High Priest, do you hear me? I'll do it! Then do it, if you're going to. But you won't. Only a weak warrior shouts threats. A strong warrior acts. You will not kill me. You want a bet? You stop the sacrifice right now, or I'll... I'll... Lady Robbie, please put the sword down. Miko? Do not behave in such a manner on my behalf. It is unnecessary. It is my choice to enter the Sky Temple, not yours. Miko, please don't do this. Thank you for your friendship, Robbie. Thank you for saving me. For the game of catch in the jungle. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a taste of childhood. But now it is time for childhood to end. For both of us, I think. Goodbye, Lady Robbie. Nico, stop! Don't move or I'll kill Jarrett! Somebody stop him or I'll do it! I'll do it! Here, Ciara. Take some of this equipment. What is all this? Radiation gear and tools to fix the weather control center. Right, I think that's everything. Come on, we must get to the console room. I'm right behind you. Here, start putting the equipment into these haversacks while I dematerialize us. Right. Um, what do you mean by dematerialize exactly? You will see in a minute. Is that equipment packed up yet? Yes, it's ready. Good. Come on, come on, come on, this is no time to dally, old girl. That's more like it. Here, take one of these packs. Hurry now! I don't understand. Wait. We've moved, but that's... Later, Ciara, please. I cannot express strongly enough that time is of the essence, and I need you to guide me to this Sky Temple. Of course, forgive me. Uh, uh, I need to get my bearings. Yes, it's this way. Come, it's not far. You can just about hear the buzz of the crowd. Hurry, Ciara. And just pray we're not too late. We're almost there. It's just around the next... No. We're too late. The Ashwari curse that miserable fool, Gerant. Another needless death. Robbie. I must find Robbie. We offer you words of thanks and praise, O Ashwari, for your sacrifice which brings the rain. Let me go, the rain gods smile once again No, I can't children, do that. I can do nothing on my own to change this. The river ...and awakens the plants of the jungle. Join with me in honoring the Ashwari, my children, that he may know his sacrifice was not in vain. Gerant! You! I am surprised that you would dare show your face at this gathering, heretic. And I'm surprised that you have the courage to show your face anywhere, child killer. Malik, arrest this woman and her associate. With pleasure, your excellency. No! Malik! Stand down! I have stood down too often, Malik. Never again. Jaren, 
You killed my beloved. My beautiful Tisa. I should have struck you down then. But by the rain gods, I'll do it now! Guards? Too late! Traitor! You signed the death warrant. This entire world. Fellow citizens! Fellow citizens, please! Calm yourselves for a moment and listen to me. The crisis is over. A great injustice has occurred on this day, the last of many such needless and inhumane sacrifices. But a new day is dawning for Cantrios. A day in which no more children need die, and in which the drought need never come again. <gasps> Robbie? Robbie! Thank heavens I found you. Are you all right? All right? I just watched a little boy kill himself. I kept waiting for you to come, praying that you'd show up and save him, and you never came. Robbie, this is very important. How long has he been inside the temple? How long? If you'd just shown up ten minutes earlier, you might have stopped all this. Ten minutes. There's a chance. Listen to me carefully, Robbie. You're human, which means you can get us inside the temple. Swallow this anti-radiation pill. We must put on these protective suits. You... You mean Nico could still be alive in there? I don't know. There's a chance he may be dead, or at least beyond help. But we have to try. I'm... I'm sorry for what you're going to see inside the temple. I'd protect you from it if I could. But as a Gallifreyan, I can't open the lock. Only you can. Do you understand what I'm asking of you? I... Yes. I think so. Very well. Come with me. Make sure the cowl and gloves on your radiation suit are secure. We must enter the Transmat alcove together. Place one hand on the desk while also holding onto my arm. The scanner will read your DNA and transport us both into the control center. Okay. Are you ready? No. Bodies. Yes. Decades worth of Ashwari sacrifices. Scarred and burned. Some of them only skeletons. Try not to look, Robbie. I don't think I could do this. Nico! That's Nico! He's alive! Over here, quickly! <sighs> Nico! Oh, child. I am so sorry. Robbie, help me support him. Gently, that's it. Lady Robbie. Is that you? I can't see you. And your voice sounds funny. It's me, Nico. I'm here. We're going to help you. Too late, I think. Please, Robbie, tell me. I used the ancient knowledge. Did the rains come? <laughs> they came, Nico. They came. That is... Good. <gasps> the Ashwari are trained to accept personal discomfort, but it burned so badly. I, I did not know it would be this hard. We'll help you. Hold on, Nico. We'll help. Doctor, do something. Robbie, I'm sorry. He's dying. Don't say that. Ashwari, I am the doctor, Robbie's friend. I can try to take the pain away. May I touch your face? Robbie's doctor? Yes, you may. Doctor, your glove! What are you doing? The radiation! It's not important. Now, Nico, close your eyes. They still burn. No, they don't. The pain is fading. See? You're becoming very sleepy. And look, your friends and family are over there, waiting for you. Go to them. You'll be able to rest there. Do you see them? Yes. I see them. So tired. Good... Goodbye, Robbie. No. 
No, this is wrong. This wasn't how it was supposed to happen. You were supposed to save him, but you didn't. This is all your fault. You caused this to happen. Don't you think I... No. Forgive me, Robbie. Please, go back to the TARDIS. Ciara, the, the woman I came with, can show you where it is. There's no reason for you to have to stay in this horrible place any longer. I can reprogram the transmat locking codes from in here, and then I need to start decontaminating this place and fixing the machinery so that this will never happen again. Fine. To be perfectly honest, right now I think I want to be as far away from you as possible. That's... understandable. Robbie? Doctor? I thought I might find you here, with the roses. I needed something to do with my hands. Where, um... Were you able to fix the machinery? Well, I've started decontamination procedures to clean up the radiation in the control room and replace some broken parts in the main computer. It's a start, at least. It sounds like you've been busy. Hmm. And perhaps more importantly, before I came looking for you, I used the TARDIS's communication equipment to contact an old acquaintance of mine in this time period. A university professor who owes me a rather large favor. She'll be arranging to send an expedition of scientists and cultural specialists to Cantrios to maintain the equipment and ease the planet's transition into an age of science and reason, while still maintaining their unique cultural traditions. So no more kids will have to die? Indeed. And how's your hand? You're wearing a sling. Oh, the, the sling's more the result of an overzealous reformer with a sword. A reformer who, I'm happy to say, I've just released from the TARDIS sickbay and reunited with his mother. But to answer your question, the hand will heal, in time. I dare say the arm will too. That's good. Doctor, I'm... Yes, Robbie? I'm... Sorry for the horrible things I said in the temple. Don't give it another thought. It's not important. Yes, it is. I was angry, furious with myself, and I didn't know how to handle it, and I ended up lashing out at you. Angry at yourself? Robbie, you, you did nothing wrong. There's no reason for you to feel that way. You don't know, Doctor. You weren't there. When he was about to send Nico into the temple, I stole a god's sword and held it against Jaren's throat. I threatened to kill him if he didn't stop the ceremony. Oh, Robbie. But I couldn't do it. I hated him, but I couldn't kill him in cold blood. I was too weak. If I'd killed him, maybe I could have saved Nico. Maybe. Choosing not to kill someone is never a weakness, Robbie. I placed you in an impossible situation, and there's no way I can ever make that up to you. I can't even promise that it will never happen again. I can only say I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm fine now. You're not fine. You're stranded in an unfamiliar place, threatened with rape, and a child that you felt responsible for died in your arms. <laughs> You're far from fine. And no one expects you to be. Least of all me. <laughs> oh, Nico. I'm so sorry, Nico. That's it. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. <laughs> So very sorry that I let this happen to you. And to him. After this, I would understand if you wanted to leave me, to go home. Robbie, do you want to continue to travel with me? I... don't know. I just need some time right now. There's a place I've often visited when I needed to think about something. It's called the Eye of Orion. I could... take us there? Yeah, okay. That sounds good. I'll go set the coordinates. I think I'd like to stay here a bit. With the roses. Of course. I'll let you know when we're about to arrive. I'll never forget you, Nico.